uh, we shouldn't be over proud because these companies might be the second wave of colonialism in india which is not direct but they will rule india if they get the chance the 75th anniversary of the of japan's surrender in world war 2 Hello and welcome to this episode. Hope you all are doing great. And today is 15th August 2020. A day uh, where my people Indian citizens celebrate Independence Day. 73 years ago at 1947 August 15th India got independence from the British rule and at the year 1950 the constitution was made the british india was given to the rightful hands of indians and it was again partitioned into west pakistan and east pakistan and india and the east pakistan is now what it's called as bangladesh today is a day of honor it's a day of happiness two centuries of rule by the britishers in india came to an end the forefront of people were mahatma gandhi as we all know it he is a role model not only to indians but to the rest of the world who would have thought 73 years later a, a british colony would be a would be a superpower right india is now a superpower has the power to face you know the big people the big three you know the china russia and america I mean not head on but yeah it still has the power it it has the manpower it has the population to do anything that it wants everyone every people wants to invest in india we we have heard of the ceo of amazon jeff bezos want to invest in india microsoft want to invest in india google wants to invest in india you know they see the potential in our people and we should be proud of that but this time they should not control us again uh, this proudness shouldn't uh, we shouldn't be over proud because these companies might be the second wave of colonialism in india which is not direct but they will rule india if they get the chance uh, we shouldn't give them the chance of it. always think every time in this epi- in these podcast and episode at the end i say think about it we have to think twice thrice why why are they investing what is their plan in this is this a good plan or is this, is this just for profit or is this for uh, dominance in in market and then the dominance of the country itself it's it's not out of the it's not impossible it's not at all impossible one mistake by the uh, indian government and we are out similar to the mughals mughals who gave the rule uh, who accidentally gave the rule to british 200 years ago they they also came for business do you know they came as a business people they came east india company they were business people and then they ruled uh, rule india simple as that similarly these amazon microsoft american companies trying to invest this all right you can yeah they can invest you know they can do anything amazon is really uh, booming in india and flipkart though in the uh, it's now an, an american company it's, it's owned by walmart we can't do anything we can't compete with them right now we are in the edge in my opinion but we can change this right now we are slowly moving away and slowly moving away from china because of the uh, you know the problems between the to between the two countries but america is uh, can be you know american can turn turn up against us any moment we never know you know they are not always uh, lovey dovey between us few years a uh, few mistakes few problems and and then it's all over that's that's just me that's just my opinion i don't trust anyone you know and nor should you because why you know the only people i trust is god and my parents that's all i trust not even my friend because you know next day they might turn up against you and you will be heartbroken you know why 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 break your heart if you have these expectations don't keep these expectations because uh, if it's not your god or your family they will turn against you if they get a chance and you will also turn up against them 
well that got uh, well, i'm sorry that got really serious uh, as a uh, so let's uh, take a quick break in this break i have to make an announcement i have opened a discord server and those of you who are using a discord app can join me on the discord server so we so that we can discuss on important topics and other new new other topics so uh, that we can talk in this podcast and if you are using castbox castbox is a podcast streaming app there is a comment feature on it so those of who, who are using castbox please comment on any episodes uh, so that i can get your thoughts on these podcasts that i make that's about it and we are back and look at that uh, so august 15th is not just an independence day it's also a special day for japan 75 years since world war 2 ended in japan was also in the same day 15th august in 1945 two just two years before indian india's independence day it was as japan's prime minister promised to never repeat the tragedy war on the 75th anniversary of the of japan's surrender in world war 2 i i mean japan was really smart you know it was really smart to surrender during world war 2 after the hiroshima and nagasaki now they are now they are also one of the superpowers of the world not quite in the army department but in the market department if i if you would say they make the best products uh, after the world war 2 the army was changed into a business or a industry machine they were machines actually because they were uh, they were trained soldiers for the army just the war was over and they the treaty was signed that japan should not make any armies or any soldiers or something like that so they used all those uh, ethics uh, from military and, and used it to make awesome and amazing products of the 90s you never uh, the best nintendo mitsubishi all those great stuff i love products and you know has, i'm it's unfortunate to say that if there was no hiroshima and nagasaki there wouldn't be any nintendo or manga or anime or mitsubishi or or a, every other japanese company it's it's really sad and unfortunate to say it like that but i guess at the end of the day it is what it is and so yeah india's independence and japan's independence from india's independence from britishers japan's independence from war two superpowers independent uh, got independence in the same day just two years difference now let's look at the number of covid cases worldwide because why not the worldwide confirmed is 21 million with recovered 13 million with 762000 deaths in india the confirmed cases are 2.53 million with 1.81 million with 49036 deaths india is now the fastest infected in day by day cases for covid-19 in the world right now and I'm pretty scared that India might become the number one most infected country in the world in this if, if India is going by this speed. Well anyways what are you thought what are your thoughts on Independence Day? What are your thoughts on Japan surrendering World War 2 and COVID-19? Think about it while you're quarantining and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bloop.